Welcome to Daily Devo, I'm Pat. Today we're gonna talk about not being misled. So whenever I travel internationally, I'm always on high alert with my passport. I carry it in a safe place, generally in a side zippered pocket in my pants. And in some countries, I even sleep with it under my pillow. Why do I do this? Because I've heard the horror stories of trying to replace a lost or stolen one while traveling abroad. In James 1.16, the half-brother of Jesus, who you may recall thought Jesus was a little nuts until he watched Jesus die and come back to life. And at that point, James became a devout follower of Jesus. In verse 16, this James, this half-brother of Jesus, wrote these words. So don't be misled my dear brothers and sisters. Other translations put it this way. Don't be deceived. Don't be thrown off course. Don't delude yourselves. Now, there are many places in the Bible that were warned about deception. But in this section, James is specifically speaking about deception in the midst of trials and difficult times. Here, James is explicitly encouraging us to be careful that in our difficult times, we aren't misled, deceived, or thrown off course, or deluded. How so? One of the most dangerous deceptions when we're struggling is to question the goodness of God. You've probably received one of those emails from a Nigerian prince that wants to wire you money if you will just send him your banking info. I hope we all recognize that a Nigerian prince does not want to just hand you some of his money. It's a deception. Not necessarily a great one, but it's a deception. It's a lie. Well, when we've been beaten down by difficult times, it won't be long before our inbox, so to speak, will be filled with emails questioning the goodness of God, questioning why he would allow this to happen, questioning if he really loves us. And James is saying, Delete these. They're lies. When we start blaming evil on God, these are lies. When we quit attributing to God the goodness in our life, this is a lie. I suppose if James were talking to me personally today about this issue, he he might say, hey, Pat, you know how vigilant and alert you are with your passport when you travel? Well, you need to have the same level of vigilance and alertness when you're going through difficult times. Pay attention that you don't become deceived by the lies from either yourself or your enemy questioning the goodness of God. Pay attention that you don't blame evil on God. Pay attention that you aren't misled, deceived, or thrown off track. The truth, God is good. He is a good, good Father, and your enemy and my enemy recognize that some of the greatest damage he can do to us is to question God's goodness. You see, if he can get us to begin questioning God's goodness, it becomes a slippery slope to begin questioning everything else about God. C.S. Lewis, when he later wrote about a very, very difficult time in his life, said, The thing I feared is not that I'll stop believing in God, but that I might begin believing dreadful things about him. Today, let's you and I be on guard, be vigilant, be alert, that our scheming enemy doesn't creep in and get us to question the -the all-the-time goodness of our good, good Father in heaven. 